How's it going, guys? I apologize if you hear the crickets in the background. I'm doing like this reaction before I go to bed. It makes it a lot more easier because I'm going to be somewhat busy tomorrow having to edit and upload the videos and crap like that. So this uh, movie trailer is called The Manor. No idea it was between this one and some other one. Uh, I looked at the uh, results of which one's got more views. This one did, and it's by Amazon Prime, so uh, let's check it out. I wasn't ready for this change, but my prognosis isn't good. You don't belong it's here. It's a pretty big place. Don't worry, I'll be okay. See, Whatever's let me go back to that place real quick. I wouldn't mind living in a place like this. Couple reasons why I wouldn't ever want to live in a place like this. One is it looks nice. Problem, you know that place is goddamn expensive, and I'm not talking about just like the utilities. I'm talking about the actual place itself. The property tax alone is a would be a real, you know, the utilities alone would be insane. Especially to heat up a house, or in this case, a manor like that. That's a problem with a lot of like old castles and stuff like that. Really nice to look at. Really nice historical uh, architecture and, you know, stories, something like that. But when you come to think of it, trying to actually heat that goddamn place up, since it's nothing usually usually nothing but pure stone, yeah, you have a huge electric bill. And three type of places like that would be a goddamn pain to clean up. The dust alone would be ridiculous. And I have already allergies enough, you know. That would take several people just to clean up a goddamn place like that. Still, overall, nice place. Don't worry, I'll be okay. Whatever's coming next, I don't want my family to see me like that. How do you like your new home? It's beautiful. Takes a bit of I like time. Like light. But you'll fit right in. Uh huh. Oh, Blumhouse. So you know this is gonna be a horror movie then. Anyone there? I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Last night, I saw something. What was it? Not being able to distinguish between what's real and what's a dream. That's a sign of dementia. <gasps> oh, that was Whatever cool. I've seen at night, it's real. Mom, we all want you to feel better. Why won't you believe me? I need to get out of this place. The only way in a box. Ooh. Look at these names. My roommate, she died last night. All the others have died too. Huh. I'm not crazy. When you experience something disorienting, close your eyes and count to five. When you open them again, whatever you saw or heard will be gone. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting because with uh, people who have dementia, and a lot of people don't know, or if you don't know what dementia is, is basically it's a disease that affects your brain. That in in a more of an easier sense to kind of put it. It's like being on an acid trip. You know, you start seeing random crap that's not actually there. Except with an acid trip, it eventually wears off. With dementia, it actually gets worse. You start distorting reality with visions and hallucinations that are not actually there. So it's like someone who has dementia can see a giant pink elephant in a living room, but no one else can. Because it's all, all in their mind. You know, and it you know slowly gets worse over time. Uh, I do know they are... You know, it's one of the things that they actually are is trying to study and try to figure out how to actually cure people with dementia. You know, uh, with today's technology and medicine stuff like that, that's a pretty long ways to go. You know, will they eventually be able to cure diseases like that? Yes. But not in today's age. You know, give it another 50 years or so, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll have some sort of cure for it. Uh, it's kind of interesting how they're making kind of a twist. It's more like a... Um, Oh, what are those places called? Uh, I can't think of the hell I'm thinking of the places called, but places that you send the elderly. How she's having more of a dementia trip 
but it's kind of like a horror version of it. So, interesting movie. Uh, if I ever get Amazon on Prime again, yeah, I'll probably watch it. You know, I like horror movies like that. They kind of distort reality when they start tripping out. They don't know what's real and what's, you know, what's, uh, uh, you know, hallucinations. Stranger Things did that quite, a, quite well. And uh, same thing with uh, Silent Hill. And uh, one of the ones that uh, did it was um, uh, the new, the newest remake of Nightmare on Elm Street, the one that didn't have Robert England, where they were staying awake. And it's an actual thing, too. The longer you stay awake, the more you start to hallucinate because your body is slowly eating itself away. You know, you're not getting the nutrients and the minerals your body needs, so you start hallucinating. You start seeing what's there and what's not. You know, and uh, it's one of the things people always ask, can you die from a lack of sleep? Eventually, yeah, you would die a lack of sleep because your body is slowly eating itself away, trying to keep itself awake, you know, to the point your body is just exhausts and you will fall asleep, but you'll most likely end up in a coma than anything else. So technically you would be clinically dead, but actually dying, dying, I'm not 100% sure you might be able to though. Uh, not a doctor on that, so if anyone has any medical experience, uh, you know, put that in the comment below. If you can actually die from the lack of sleep. Uh, but either way, you guys will see this as usual later on in the afternoon and when I eventually get up in the morning and stuff like that. So I gotta get the Duke Nukem video rendered through the night and I'm gonna get that eventually uploaded, so on and so forth. But uh, either way, hope you guys this week is going good. I know it's Wednesday. I know people are gonna, you know, counting those days till it's Friday. <laughs> but, uh, Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy, and I'll catch you guys in the next trailer reaction. See you guys.